Today we're going to learn how to create pop art images just like the one you're viewing here. This is method 3 and this is the result that you'll get. So first thing you want to do is select the image that you want to work with. So we'll be working with this one here. Then we want to duplicate the layer by dragging it down here. So it makes a copy. Then we want to go into image adjustments and invert. Then we want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and select a radius of about 7 it doesn't really matter, you can vary this to see how your results show and then hit OK then we want to change the blending mode to color dodge and this is roughly what your image should look like we want to go down to here and select a threshold and then we want to move this up until you are happy with the detail that is displayed so just gonna set this one to about 240 and then hit OK now we want to create a new layer and then select the blending mode to multiply and then we want to choose a color a skin color color and then fill fill the layer here with that color so I'm just going to go like that using the paint bucket tool then we'll rename this layer to skin just so we can keep track then we will duplicate the background just by dragging it here and then moving it up to the top and then just make sure you have your colors as foreground your hair color and background white so I'm going to choose like a darker brown for the hair color and then we want to go into filter sketch and halftone pattern now the settings you want to select here is halftone pattern size to contrast 50 and then we're going to hit OK and then we want to change you can either change the blending mode to overlay or you can change the blending mode to multiply so it's up to you. I'm going to select multiply for this example. Now we'll just rename this to hair and then we want to create a new layer and we'll call this one lips. Now we want to change, we want to select a red color and change our blending mode to multiply. Then zoom in and the easiest way to do this is to hide these layers so you can see the actual lips and then color in the lips just like so now you can take your time with this to get a better effect but I'm just doing this quickly just to give you an idea so it's going to be a little messy but you get the general idea now I'm just going to view all of those layers and then when we zoom out you can see the lips are now colored now of course we want to create another layer and we will call this one eye whites and then change the blending mode to overlay and then just color in the whites of the eyes just like so now you can see that some of the brown is not coloring in right in the iris so if you just go to the hair layer and then you can put in the white there actually it's probably better to erase it so I'm just going to select the eraser tool and erase the brown save us some time when we go to add the iris eye color which is the next step okay so now that we've erased those brown sections that we don't want we can erase it from the skin as well just to the skin layer just to get that accurate look now 
course we want to create a new layer so I'm just going to click here select new layer and we'll call this eye color and then with your color selected select your paintbrush tool and before doing that you want to change the blending mode to multiply and then color in the color of the eye there and just there as well now if you want if you aren't happy with the colors that you picked you can just um, select the layer say that you want to change the color of and then go into image adjustments hue and saturation and then just you can change the color just like that now you can add a background layer if you don't want the background layer to be the set background color to be the same as the skin color and that's just simply done by creating a new layer drag it up here set the blending mode to either multiply or overlay to give it a different effect and then just coloring in the background like so. So that's basically it. Now I hope this has helped you out and given you a good idea and thanks for watching.